So you go here for school, right? Yeah. What program are you in? I'm an engineer. Oh, nice. Uh, which one? Gastro. Gastro, nice. Uh, first year, second year? First year. First year. So how's it been so far? Um, it's uh, stressful, but I'm trying to make the most out of my university experience. Like, I'm doing a lot of side projects. Cool. I just saw you on YouTube. Uh, who are some of the, you know... Yeah. Uh, I'm working on a project. Oh. <laughs> Who are some of the people that you're subscribed to or do you watch daily? Um, like, like, let's see your top three. Uh, top, like, YouTubers? Yeah. Um, so I, I kind of a channel myself. Like, oh, cool. <laughs> I just recently started, but um, I feel like, I really like Casey Neistat. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. And um, I really like Mimi Icon. She's a YouTuber and a blogger. And, um, let's see, Smosh. Oh, okay. Alright, so uh, being a YouTuber, as you would expect, uh, there's definitely a lot of pressure because people expect you to post videos, you know, often and on a regular basis, right? So then, even if one time you just sort of skip out on that by accident, people will start commenting like, oh my god, where's your videos, you know, like, you the same as before when you first started, something like that. Yeah. And then, although they do get a lot of positive comments, there's some times where they get a lot of negative comments, right? Yeah. How do you think, like, you can deal with that? Um, well, personally, like, I, I don't deal with that because I, I just started yeah. out, like, but I do know that, um, like, if you're, if you are a YouTuber and, uh, you are out there, you have to, like, you shouldn't read what people say in the comments below, as long as you believe in yourself, like, it's, like, yeah. negativity, like, that Yeah, I get that, but then, like, isn't the point of YouTube also to satisfy viewers, like, wants and needs, so then... Yeah, when you're reading the comments, sort of, like, isn't that sort of necessary? I guess, but, like, everyone has their own opinion. Like, you are going to have haters, you are going to have people yeah. who don't like you, yeah, you are going to have people who love you, but you have, I guess, like, in that way, like, when you are a YouTuber, you have to accept that people are going to judge you. Um, so in that sense, I would say, uh, take a look at the good and bad and accept, like, what your job really is. So coming back to you, can you tell me about a time you know, when you've had to deal with negative feedback or you know, like just negative criticism? It doesn't have to be school related, just anything. I don't think I have an experience in that, or maybe I can't think of it right now. It could be like you know a project you've done in school, or maybe something you've tried to propose, but people just don't agree with you. Um, or maybe it, it could be a YouTube channel. Like, like, have you talked to your friends about it? And then, like, oh, they're really supportive. Okay, yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> so I, I can't think of one right now. Maybe a, at the end. Uh, Alright, so what? Uh, uh, like, have you ever done any group projects recently? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, in, like, working in a group, are you usually the person who contributes ideas and talks more, or yeah. do you listen more? Talk more. I talk. Alright, so uh, how do your group members feel about that? Do they usually agree with what you say, or do um, they? You know? Well, they do have their opinions, and I try to. Um, I try. Yeah. I obviously listen to their opinions as a leader. Um, but yeah, like they. Um, I work with people who I would normally like get along with, like friend-wise. Like all of my group projects that I actually no. Um, from one of my classes, I think it was CN. We did have a group, um, but I wasn't friends with any of them. But as long as as long as I'm friendly and stuff, I get along with people. So, yeah. uh, so like, you would say that you're sort of more comfortable with people you already know, as opposed to you know, like just random people. Um, it's actually the same though. Like if I'm put in a situation where I have to work with like strangers, I always put myself out there and I always communicate. I always try to, yeah. So it's like the same. So would you prefer like? I don't in high school. Sometimes the teacher lets you pick a group. Sometimes the teacher picks for you. Like which one? Um, well, if it's like a really important project and I know certain people are um, like great to work with, then I would prefer working with those people. But I guess it doesn't matter for me. As long as like, you know, they're with them. Scratch that, yeah. All right, so uh, has there ever been a time where you've hesitated, uh, hesitated to do something or you feel like you need to double check something that you've done because of previous negative feedback that you received? In what context? Like let's like like you said before, you usually talk more to group, right? Yeah. Like, has there been a time where like something you've proposed, like just your group members just absolutely do not agree? Um, I'm not afraid 
to share my opinion. Yeah. Well, I'm not kind of. So, and I'm not afraid to be judged. And if I am judged, then like I take it in. And I I take it from the criticism and. So yeah, I guess in that sense. Yes. Yeah, so, so like, does that criticism, you know, cause you to hesitate or something? Well, like it depends because if I'm in a situation where like people are older than me, like maybe yeah. like five or six years older than me, then I am gonna like back away. Oh, so you would prefer working with people of your age? Yeah. I feel like, yeah. I've been in situations like, let's say, I, I went to this meetup um, for an industrial meetup, and there was um, fourth years and fifth years, and we were sharing. Yeah, we were sharing ideas, and I was in first year, and we were just talking about our experience, and um, we were just talking about like what's what's out in the news today, and like our opinions. I was afraid to share my opinion in that environment because everybody there was, you know, suited up. I was in like like school clothing, and so yeah, it all it all depends on like the environment too. So then, if, if those people were more welcoming, it would be easier for you. Of course, yeah. If they were more welcoming, but if I if I can sense that they feel that um, that they're more potent or like authoritative, then um, I back away. Okay. Which is not that great. You sh I shouldn't do that, but like I try. Yeah, like obviously you're gonna be intimidated. Yeah. But then like you know me coming up to random people and talking is pretty scary. But then, yeah. You know. Like once you you're doing a good job. Yeah, no, no, no. I mean, like, once you actually do it, it's not as bad as it actually seems. Yeah, as long as, like, they're accepting it. If you don't feel like they're, like, they, they want to listen to you, then you don't want to share. Yeah, well, that's great. Those were amazing. No problem.